Hey, in this video I'm going to talk all about why I believe that Thanksgiving is awesome and Black Friday sucks. So, fair warning, this might turn into a giant rant. So, if you're of sensitive composure, then you may want to stop here. So, this is your trigger warning for all you crazy college kids. I think it's funny that Thanksgiving and Black Friday are right next to each other because they're kind of like opposite attitudes, right? I mean, on Thanksgiving, you're enjoying everything that you have and you're being thankful, and then the very next day, you're beating people down to try to get the cheap TVs. Right? To try to get more because you're not satisfied with what you have. And I know some people like to pretend that Black Friday is about buying gifts, buying things for other people. But, come on, let's be realistic. Are people really trampling over each other uh, to buy something for somebody else? I don't think so. Now, like I've been saying, I sincerely believe that good morality is what leads to good outcomes in your life. So, in this case, is no exception, right? So, if you are thankful, uh, then you are bringing, you are attracting more good things to you. If you are thankful for the good things in your life, then you're attracting more good things to you. But if you are constantly focused on what you don't have and what you want to have, right? And that, that word want is funny because it actually has two meanings, right? Most people use it in the, in the meaning of I desire something. But it has a second meaning too, is, and it means that I lack. So if you know that Bible verse, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It doesn't mean I shall not desire, it means I shall not lack. So every time that you say that you want something, you are reaffirming the fact that you don't have it. And thoughts become things, and whatever you focus on, you get more of the same. So if you focus on the things that you have and the things that you're thankful for, and even the things in the future that you will have and that you are grateful for, well, then you are attracting more of those good things into your life. But if you focus on the things that you want, which is another way of saying the things that you do not have, if you focus on the things that you lack, you're focusing on insatisfaction, you're focusing on bad feelings, and you are going to bring more insatisfaction and more bad feelings into your life. And this is true on multiple levels. I believe that this is true on a spiritual level, in that when you have these good or bad feelings, you are literally attracting, in some spiritual way, good or bad things towards you, respectively. But you don't have to get all woo-woo about it to recognize that this is true, because it works in a practical way, too. If you are positive and focused on good feelings, such as gratitude, people are going to gravitate towards you. And when people gravitate towards you, opportunities gravitate towards you. And then on the flip side, if you're focused on lack, or you're focused on whatever it is that you don't want, or your insatisfaction, your, your mood is bad, you're, you don't like the way that the world is, and this brings a whole bunch of other bad things with it, right? Like jealousy, for example. It sucks being with people who are jealous. Jealous people are terrible. So, by being in that negative frame of mind, you are chasing away all the people that could provide you opportunities, that could help you in your life. And you might attract other people who feel like you, right? Other people who are jealous and resentful and, and constantly focused on the things that they don't have in life and complaining about rich people and, you know, advocating for socialism, all this. For sure, these people attract each other, but these are exactly the opposite of the people that you want to attract because whereas other people who are grateful and happy and optimistic will lift you up, people who are jealous and resentful and unsatisfied with their lives will bring you down. And I think this may be part of what Jesus meant when he said, to those who have, more will be given. To those who have not, even what they do have will be taken away. Which is one of the more kind of cryptic verses in the Bible. It's, it's very interesting because we all kind of get a choice whether or not we're going to categorize ourselves as, uh, as that have or have not. Right? People talk about the haves and the have-nots. Well, where exactly is the dividing line between the haves and the have-nots? The only good answer to that question that I can come up with is that you choose for yourself. I've met so many people who are so fortunate in life, who are well-fed, well-clothed, in good health, uh, they don't have any disabilities, their eyesight is 20-20 and they can buy as much pizza and chocolate cake as they want, and yet these people have convinced themselves that they are unlucky, that they drew the short straw in life, and they only look above them to the people that, are, that have more money than them, or are more beautiful than them, or have a better relationship than them. Something uh, to make themselves feel bad. 
And then these people uh, classify themselves with the have-nots, and then they have all this jealousy and resentment and hatred to the people that have more than them. And it's funny because I see this a lot in the U.S., which is insane because once you start traveling a little bit, you recognize that even people that are poor in the U.S., people that are making minimum wage, are rich beyond the wildest dreams of a lot of people in a lot of parts of the world. It's really ironic that people are complaining about how unfair capitalism is and how little money they have because of the man on their Facebook app on their iPhone. And those people that do that are guaranteeing that their life is only going to get worse. Right? And that, I believe, is, is at least in part the meaning of from those who have not, even what they have will be taken away because they see themselves in the have not category. They don't, they don't appreciate what they have, and so they attract calamity to themselves, and they lose even that which they have, they lose. It's taken away. And then, on the other hand, the people who choose to be thankful are choosing to put themselves in that haves category. And because they see themselves as someone who has, well, then to them, more will be given. So the opportunities come their way. Everybody wants to be their friend. They have the good ideas because they're in that creative headspace. When you're thinking positively, that's when the good ideas come to you. I mean, think about it. When have you been pissed off at the world or pissed off at your boss or your girlfriend or whatever and had a really good idea for your business or for your job? Right? Never. Right? Because you're in that mindset that is closing you off from creativity. Or how often have you thought of somebody else and thought, oh, well, that, do that person doesn't deserve to be successful. I wish he would lose what he has and I would get it. How often, when being in that mindset, have you ever had a good idea that's going to make you money or bring you the life of your dreams or make your relationships better? Anything. Never, right? You are repelling that. But when you can be thankful, regardless of what your situation is, there's always something that you can find to th be thankful for. And chances are, any given moment, if, if you're watching this, if you have the internet, if you have a computer, if you have a phone, uh, chances are you have a lot of things to be thankful for. And if you can be thankful for those things, not only will you attract people and opportunities, you'll also attract ideas. And so to you, because you have put yourself into the category of the haves instead of the category of the have-nots, which you had the choice, right? It's completely arbitrary. You can put yourself in either category because you are always a have compared to some people and a have not compared to other people. I mean, unless you're Jeff Bezos. But I mean, even he could do that, right? He just got divorced. He could say, oh, well, this person has less money than me, but he's luckier in life because his wife still loves him. You see what I mean? Anybody in any situation could always put themselves in the have not category or the have category. So by putting yourself in that have category, uh, you are ensuring that more will be given to you. So Thanksgiving is a wonderful holiday. If it gets you for one time a year to recognize all the wonderful things that you have in your life, which I guarantee that you do, then not only is it making you happier for the moment because it feels a lot better to be grateful than to be resentful and, and uh, lacking, but also you're attracting more good things back into your life. Whereas Black Friday, and I bought something for Black Friday this year, so Maybe you'll call me a little bit of a hypocrite, but it was an online course about how to grow my business that I bought from my computer, so I wasn't out trampling people for it. But I'm just using this as a symbol for focusing on what you don't have instead of focusing on what you do have. And there's also a, a very telling uh, aspect about Black Friday is that people spend so much time and energy just to save a few dollars on, on some appliances. If you are willing to camp out beside the Best Buy for three days to get $200 off your iPhone, then there is something seriously wrong with the decisions that you're making in your life. You do not value your time. And if you ask any person in the world who is successful, they will tell you the number one thing that they value is their time. They value time a lot more than money, and they would never spend three days of their life to save $200, $500, $1,000 especially on something that they don't actually need, like a TV or an iPhone. I remember the last time that I tried to go to a Black Friday, I went to Best Buy. And I think it might have been actually Thanksgiving Day, right? Because Black Friday is bleeding more and more and more into Thanksgiving. 
which the forces of evil will always try to overcome the forces of good, and they will always try to push past their boundaries and erase the good things in the world. As we're seeing constantly with just about every institution of the modern world, be it television, be it the news, be it college, be it high school, be it elementary school. I mean, the things that they're trying to push on kids in elementary school these days are insane. Even the Catholic Church seems to have become overrun with communist pedophiles. But anyway, so back to my story. I was, uh, I went to Best Buy and there was this giant line of people and it was hard to find a parking spot and I just remember seeing that and I was like, why would I waste my time waiting in that giant line? And I just, I was disgusted. I was like, what is wrong with these people? And I, I turned my car around, I went home, and I gave the money that I was going to spend, I gave to charity instead. And it was a beautiful feeling. For that moment, I felt like my life was on the right track, at least in some way. And I was not particularly charitable at that time in my life. Uh, I was pretty selfish. I, I didn't really look out for other people very much. But that whole spectacle just bothered me so much on Thanksgiving Day. So if you want a good way to make that practical, to find something that you can actually do to put yourself into that have category, well, find somebody that has less than you and give that person something. It's a beautiful feeling and you will get it many times in return. So, next Black Friday, or if you're in Brazil, it's still Black Friday because it's Black Week. Black Friday is extended to the entire week over here. Well, that's an alternative, something that you can do instead. So if you ever find yourself in that kind of state of lack where you're complaining about things and you're wishing that you had things that you don't have and you're resentful because you don't have those things, then give something to somebody else. It will immediately put you in the opposite state of mind and it will make the world a better place. And if by any chance you happen to actually know these people who trample each other to get the low price TVs, then share this video with these people please because they really need to hear it. Hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, and if you got anything from this video, please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And if you want to know more about mindsets of gratitude and how you can be thankful for even the bad things in your life, then check out this video.